Okay, let's make a start. So, today the AMA is about the upcoming launch of Naftyard, which is one week from now. So, it's on Friday next week. And as you already know, we have been working in the past week, in one, two weeks, to, uh, for the upcoming launch for the marketing campaign. What we have prepared as of now are commercial video. Uh, banners for the pre-launch. We have already started our Bitcoin ad campaign. It's already running. We are going to change also the banners. We already have some running, but we are going to try different creative so we can see what's happening. We are going to do more video videos for the launch. We already have our main commercial video, but we'll do a few more so we can get the interest of more uh, ambassadors as well and more content creators who want to join uh, Nafti Art. Uh, the main thing that we're going to do, obviously, is have girls put as, as many NFTs as possible on the platform and share uh, to their fans that now they're able to buy their NFT on Nafti Art. This is the main thing, because as many mm, cr uh, creators we have, uh, the more chances are more people to be able to obviously see the brand of Nafti and obviously not only um, uh, get to know uh, the platform, but also the crypto itself and they can invest also in the platforms. Uh, the other things that we are doing, it's uh, we're going to be on trading on Dex tools, we are doing CoinZewads, uh, we'll be doing social media advertisement as well, we're going to try with Instagram and Facebook ads, see how it's going. We're going to have, you know, we're not going to obviously include words such as adult. We're going to make special landing pages with quoting that allow users to obviously uh, check the NFT marketplace. So I think this we can promote on uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. Uh, we're going to have all our ambassadors make posts uh, for the launch as well. Uh, in Twitter, in Telegram, whoever has Telegram as well, uh, in Instagram. And we are going to also have uh, influencer marketing from crypto influencers about the NFT marketplace launch. And we need a lot of shilling. So guys, if you can help us with the shilling, it will be awesome. We will be having already, uh, Francis preparing the, uh, to launch the bots for the event itself. But as, as many people as we can have shilling out there and sharing about the launch, you, you have the commercial video. If you don't have, you can uh, message me, I'll send it to you. If you can send it to your friends, to groups, to content creators, uh, it would be perfect because like this will create a buzz around uh, the launch event. And obviously it will benefit um, Nafti as well. Uh, the other things that we are preparing are uh, PR articles that are uh, going to come uh, next week, in the start of next week and in the end and around the event as well. Uh, we'll be having, um, maybe we're going to do um, few games for uh, Nafti Art launch. We already have two that are ongoing about the uh, 6,900 and the trip. But when they finish, we're, we're going to make uh, one more game and probably to be connected with uh, Nafti Art so we, we can get, give incentive to people to obviously share and help us with uh, the platform. Uh, what else we're going to do? It's uh, we need uh, to target also some influencers from the Asian market. And when they put their NFTs up there, I'm, I'm the process of uh, contacting a few. But I think um, our, at the moment, Miwa Zhu, she has a lot of uh, Asian fans. So she, she, I think she already has uploaded a few NFTs out there. She'll be uploading more. And I think this will give us exposure also to the Asian market because I think in general, Asian people, they're crazy about the trend with NFTs and this will be very good exposure for us. 
So I'll have um, someone from the team only work for a Asian content creators so we can get more exposure on there uh, via Nafti Art as well. Uh, and in general, this is uh, what we are focusing on. The only thing that I'm going to speak from today until the launch will be Nafti Art. I don't want to take the mind of the community on anything else. Uh, I'll update you on the other things such as Nafti Pay, Nafti Fans, Nafti Merch, Nafti Art. All, all of these things will be updated after. Now I want everyone to only speak about Nafti Art. In the next seven days, the chance to be only Nafti Art, about the, um, the artwork in Nafti Art, about the creators in Nafti Art, only hype about Nafti Art, nothing else. And this is the, the main thing that we want to focus now. We're going to be the number one uh, adult NFT platform out there. So we want to communicate this message to all the people that we are going to have the best artwork, the most famous creators, uh, the, mm, we're going to be number one. So uh, it's very important that everyone understands this and only focuses on Nafti Art in the upcoming week. After the launch, we are going to update you on all other progress on all other parts of the ecosystem. But for now, please, guys, just Nafti Art. So, yes, if I'm leaving the floor open now for questions, if you have anything, let me know. Also, if you have some ideas about Nafti Art as well, about marketing, maybe I have missed something. I'm going to uh, maybe write a detailed plan. I'm going to share, share it, it with the community to see uh, what we are going to do. Maybe I have missed something. So if you have any other input, the marketing that we can do, and if you bring a good effect, please let me know. I will appreciate it. Um, here, um, just one suggestion. I just noticed that there is another uh, Telegram group for any general discussion about Nafti token, but uh, the one, the, the Telegram group that I found first was at Geekko, and uh, that that uh, Telegram group was the, the the official Telegram group for announcements only and not for general discussion. So uh, okay. I I decided to to move to Discord just to see what what are you talking about, but uh, okay. I do not use a lot that platform. I prefer to use Telegram. So I would suggest you to to change the link in CoinGecko for the yes. Telegram group instead of the announcement. Then okay. it could be better for the yes. For the general. Yeah, I agree. Yes, it's another good point, actually. We're, we're for sure, we'll, we'll change it now. And uh, we need to grow our community. We have um, 19,000 people. I think we can easily get 30,000 30, people in the next, I don't know, even one week. What, I, what I'm going to do is even ask some of the ambassadors to share the NAFT discussions group. Uh, we, we want to grow the community. We want more and more people to get engaged. Because the stronger we are as a community, the more project, the more the project will grow in the long run. Because everyone has interest in enough to becoming bigger and bigger. So, uh, apart from Nafti Art, uh, we, we want to focus on growing the community, and that's why I want when the newcomers uh, come to the group, I want most of the people, the moderators, everyone to hype about uh, the Nafti Art, the NFTs and uh, this, this topic. And then from the next week, when we have obviously everything happening with Naftyar, we're, we're going to shift focus to the other big event that we'll be holding, okay? Yeah, and if I could touch Thanks. base on, on, on that, this is Jeff Dillon here. Um, if I could touch base, what we're doing is really working about how we can build a little bit more excitement in this community and make things a little bit more interesting. So we've been brainstorming to kind of create uh, some more interesting events, a little bit of event-based marketing on our Telegram group um, that will kind of give you guys more interactions with our stars. So we're going to start bringing a lot of the NAFTI artists on, doing exclusive AMAs with them, video AMAs, and then we could use these as NFTs as well, uh, Q&A sessions with our directors, uh, then we'll also have cool weekly things like Meme Mondays, 
happy hour Fridays? What are you drinking? Really kind of bring the social aspect around this and not just kind of these general uh, conversations that sometimes go, which are fun, you know, right? That go all over the place a little bit about coin, what this, and just this whole asking questions. Well, we'll have these kind of centralized, uh, focused events that will take place on Telegram. <clears throat> and then we'll have the our ambassadors, our artists will also be posting out to their social media sites, you know, to get their following to come in to create these great little engaging chats too. So um, even have a Halloween contest. Uh, if you guys all celebrate Halloween, we'll do a costume contest maybe on Halloween. Uh, another idea I had maybe, maybe we'll do is George a porn star or not? That seems to be a very popular question. Just kidding, George. But everybody always <laughs> asks. <laughs> no, um, so yes, yeah, so, so so yeah, we really want to do this really event kind of base that I mean, we have an amazing community here, and you know, one of the things I always tell people is uh, this amazing community that we have here, and uh, what's how do we engage this and make this fun, right? We're all here, we're all being social, so let's take it up a notch, and you know, let's make this exciting. We're all hanging out here half the day anyway, so let's do some cool stuff together. And anybody else has any cool suggestions about things that we can do? Love, love to hear those as well. Yes, we want to be one big happy family. And anyway, we have mutual goal to take love to the moon. So the more time we spend together, even outside work, it would be perfect. And we can have fun things, as Jeff said. We have a lot of suggestions. And our ambassadors uh, will help us with this. So uh, you don't only hear my voice. Maybe you hear some other sex ambassador voices as well so this this would be i think very cool uh, one one cool cool announcement i've got we'll have our first male nafti ambassador slash artist come on only know he could be on the chat i'm not even sure it's dante cole so he's uh one of the leading performers in the adult industry he's probably last i checked uh a little bit ago, he was ranked number two on Pornhub, and uh, lo and behold, uh, just from hearing about it, he's also a, a pretty uh, seven-figure nafty token holder. So not only does he believe in us, he bought into the project before we even started this discussion. So I'm uh, super excited. I don't know any other tokens that are bringing on male ambassadors. Um, so I think this is adds another uh, layer to the diversity and the depth of our creators and ambassadors that we're bringing on. So I'm very, very excited about that. We also have Layla Ivy. She's an amazing star, also a great artist. So she's really a good artist too. These are two uh, ambassadors that just signed up uh, within the last 48 hours. Uh, and I know I promised you guys the big mega star announcement this week, but you know, unfortunately, with a lot of these deals, uh, she's got her people reviewing the agreement and she understands that it's critical that uh, we kind of ink this thing for launch. So hopefully I will hear back today, tomorrow, Monday, but uh, maybe we can announce that on Monday's AMA, but this is a very exciting one. Uh, so I look forward to announcing that. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, guys, you might have some questions in the meantime, maybe. Anything specific you would like to know that we have missed, maybe announcing or speaking about? Um, I'm a little bit worried about the price of the token. Uh, do you know if we will continue uh, with this bear market uh, for this token, or, or do you see do you see this uh, a pump I'm coming? I don't know because um, well, okay, I understand I understand your concern, but I'm not worried at all about this. There's many reasons to why I'm not worried. The first, the first and main thing is that in the end of the day, 
it's first of all it's crypto there's ups and downs always so yeah you should not let the short-term losses uh trouble you otherwise i would not be sleeping each night <laughs> if, if, if every <laughs> single dip uh, made me upset or something like this secondly we are a utility-based token which means that uh, we have the token itself has utility it has purchasing power within the ecosystem and the platforms that we are going to do. So, as I said before in the AMAs, our end goal is the token not to be just purchased for trading purposes as an investment, but to be used as means to purchase content such as NFTs, the upcoming NFT art launch, uh, such as content from fan platforms, such as content from NFT TV, uh, from uh, the tube sites that we are going to do from the whole ecosystem. As long as people respect their privacy, uh, we, we obviously when you pay in crypto, you have your privacy, you have everything. And as long as the content creators, they want to cut middlemen, they want to pay less fees from the compared to the traditional payment solutions, uh, such as, uh, let's say, uh, the merchants who take 15, 20% out of their pocket because it's a high risk business. And as long as people use this and for their benefit, and the benefits are what we have explained them multiple times there in the white paper, as long as this keeps going, the price will go up in the long run. You can go back one or two months and see. Uh, Obviously, the price going, how much it increased, maybe 20, 10, 10 fold, 30 fold, I don't know, even more. And mm -hmm. compared to the first launch of version one of NAFTA that we did in July, it's maybe, I don't know, 100 times more, something like this. So, of course, there will be fun trace and of course, there will be bear market. There will be, you cannot change this. You cannot change the, the, the crypto market anyway. There is going to be announcements. There is going to be shocks in the market. But... In the end of the day, when you look at this in the long-term perspective, we're still all... early, right? That's yes, the it's, main it's early. Question. It's like NAFTA. It's not even. It's like three months since we we first started, and we have a lot of work, more work, and we have a lot of more things to do. And some of the things that we are going to do, such as NAFTA Pay, they will change the way payments are being done in the adult industry, and you cannot imagine what problems we're going to solve problems that as you know last month only fans decided to announce that they are they will be banning adult content from their platform then they announced that they will not but anyway this is it's short-term things for them anyway uh everything in the adult industry from my point of view in the next couple of years i don't know maybe five years maybe two i don't know will go to crypto as there is too much benefit to this. And as long as we stay on the top, as long as we continue working, as long as we continue developing, because we're a technology company, we develop uh, products, uh, we develop platforms. These platforms are, represent barriers to entry, because as you know, we already have a lot of platforms live and working, whereas uh, all other tokens, they ex they do better releases, they uh, say that they're going to do something and it's still not out there. But as you know, we, we're already live. Uh, for example, NAFT TV has been working for three months. It has been generating profits for the token holders. Uh, NAFT merch, we are going to integrate very soon uh, NAFT Pay inside it. Enough to pay version one without recurring, it's already live. So we'll be integrating it with adult sites, which we're already in uh, connection. Obviously, it takes time because yes. if, if you need to, uh, if, if when we contact a new business to integrate enough to pay uh, for them, they need to have the availability of resources and they need to put it in their plan because it's something new. They didn't uh, plan on it. And then we contact them, we explain the benefits, they accept the idea and they integrate it. So all of these things, they take time. And this is why you should not look at the price at the short run. You should look at something as an investment, like 
for me, even though it's crypto, yes, I understand it's crypto and people expect that you invest tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow you, you go and buy Wambo, but it, it doesn't work like this. So for me, it's just a, maybe shares from, let's say, not a company because it's centralized, decentralized. But if you put your money, let's say, in Apple or Tesla or whatever kind of uh, normal shares on the stock market, you look at, at the long term, two, three years. You don't look at what will happen today or tomorrow. So this is, I think, an answer to your question if we are worried about the price dropping. And the answer is no, we're not. Yeah, okay. this, is, this is Jeff speaking, just to add on to that. You know, crypto or building a big company is a marathon it's not a sprint you know i think george made some good uh, analogies to apple and tesla and uh, amazon these you know if you look at these companies daily you know when they first started out you know you would have sold and unfortunately i sold on a couple of them and now i regret it right and it's just the same thing with us it's not where we are today it's where we're going tomorrow and the day after so um you know it's it's very much a marathon about the long game and looking at our vision and you know one of the great things too is is nafty pay we've already had some major traction with that with integrating with clips for sale uh model central and that which is a top five company in the adult industry and we're already at high level conversations with a lot of the other top companies in the adult industry one has just received the documentation for NAFTA Pay this morning. They're having a meeting about Tuesday, and <clears throat> just what George mentioned, these things take time, and they've got to allocate development resources. So they're, you know, they're meeting with their dev team on Tuesday. Their goal is to integrate this for October and have NAFTA Pay live for their site in November for the big holiday season. Uh, and they've got a big network of sites too, so this works well for them. Then at the first of the year, they start rolling Nafti Pay out to the rest of their sites. So, you know, and this will help pump up the bar, the price of the token dramatically when we start integrating with all these top companies in the adult industry. So, um, you know, then we've got the launch of Nafti Art, which has already had transactions in sale and. You know, we anticipate having a very big week next week. So a lot of PR going out, a lot of marketing that's been waiting to go out. So these things will also help bump up the coin price. But it's not about what it is today or tomorrow. It's really where we're going, you know, two, three, four years from down the road. Uh, this is Jeff, and I'm done speaking. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And also after the announcements, that's all the announcements last month. Uh, this was kind of a wake-up call for a lot of the models who now realize that they cannot rely forever on uh, the banking system and the credit card companies to support the porn industry forever because the, the banking system has a reputation to uh, defend. So they realize now that crypto is the way to go in the long run and they are already looking for alternatives. And our main goal is to be uh, at the number one position when this transition is going to, to happen so that we can get as much uh, content creators on board as possible when the time is right. Hey, nice questions? Yes, of course. Okay. I have a three questions actually and i want to ask first mm -hmm. um index tools website twitter link is wrong and the coin market cap link is missing could you please fix it yes please send send all of this to us because as you know we had the migration and after the migration we, we had to contact all our partners and some of them uh maybe they didn't update or it takes too much time uh, for them to update but we are in process of contacting actually we, i think we contacted already everyone but maybe they haven't updated yet okay the second so, one is mm -hmm. would you guys do a solana breach for nft token uh we already 
suppose that we are actually open to making yeah. a bridge. Yes. So if this this will happen. You uh, have a collaboration with 8Pay, but will it also provide a Solana bridge for NFT token? As soon as we have development resource uh, available, we will make a bridge for Okay, and thanks for, for that. And also for Ada, for Cardano. Okay, thanks for that too. And would you make an app like Tinder to conquer your whole adult industry? Yes, actually, this is something that it's all already in progress. It's so already yes. in progress. Yes. No, we have. We have. You can see it on our X system. You can see actually. Uh, I don't know if you type, I think, ecosystem in the command enough to discussions, you'll be able to see all the platforms that we're going to develop over the next uh, few years. Um, I am saying few years because we are planning to stay and we're planning to make something big. And there is a lot of new things coming and we're going to update you on each single one. But as you know, uh, Nafti, it's a long-term project and yeah. we are going to make it very big. It will just take us time. And this is coming so you back. you have a plan for releasing an app like Tinder, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, but... but the, nice the, to do that. Yes, Thank and you. also also there, uh, you can tip. Uh, it would be nice to tip uh, the matches so they can receive maybe a notification that they received a tip in NAFTA and that they want to patch with it. So this would be cool as well. Even if it's one dollar, it will get the attention of the girls. Yeah. <laughs> so, this would be cool. so, so this would be cool. Yeah, it was nice to hear that. Thank you for your answers. No worries. Okay. I have a question regarding marketing uh, for the nft art launch yeah um, so far it looks like most of your marketing efforts are geared towards the investors but in in order to make it worthwhile for the ambassadors i think it would be very important to get more consumers and consumers onto the platform absolutely Bes I agree. besides the ambassadors uh, sharing or posting about the launch on their platforms do you have uh, additional marketing plans or strategies yes as i said so we have we're going to have uh advertisement on adult websites such as pornhub on exits we'll, we're gonna run banner campaigns out there we're gonna see with tracking if it works uh obviously if, it, if they're effective if we get traffic uh, we're going to have not uh, to try as well instagram and facebook advertisement i'm not sure if it's going to be very successful because most probably it's going to get banned because crypto and adult it's a no-no for facebook and instagram but maybe i can get a good team that will do good quoking and we can have good landing pages uh, that will allow us to promote the products because i'm not sure we can do direct uh, marketing from instagram directly to naftyard because of the adult uh, nature of the website okay uh, Yep. Do you have access to 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 get the media placements on bigger mainstream medias? We're working with PR companies, and mm -hmm. I think this is part of the PR that we're doing. And I think Jeff, uh, we will have we will have oh we also have Xbis. Sorry, I forgot about Xbis. We are uh, we have banners there as well, and Xbis yeah. is uh, the biggest in adults. Yeah, and and why not? Uh, we have a why not big sponsorship. So we've got a year sponsorship for XBiz, a year sponsorship for why not. We're also a major platinum sponsor in the why not uh, cam award. Cam access to a lot of the models and exposure. Um, and the uh, and, uh, circle back and touch on the marketing. For us, probably why you've seen a lot of emphasis uh, on our ambassadors and creators, because if you look at <clears throat> a lot of the platforms that have been creator centric, you know, let's take a look at some of the biggest ones like uh, OnlyFans, obviously, everybody knows OnlyFans, Minivids, um, Fan Centro. 
you know, a lot of the success about these platforms and the beauty of these platforms is your models, they create the inventory, the, the content, and then they also bring the customers in by marketing to their fan base. So that's really the success and the sweet sauce and why these companies have been extremely successful and why we've been hand selecting our content creators to curate uh, content that we know is going to sell and from people with a big audience. So a lot of our stars have a very have a big uh, Bitcoin audience, VR audience, AI audience, or they're just a very well-known star that will give us a lot of reach. So, you know, those are really the key elements when you look at the these million dollar platforms that have been extremely successful is really, you know, bringing on big models that have a big, great audience and they're creating content. So that's why we've been hand selecting, really targeting a lot of the models that we know can bring on good content for us uh, that will sell and they can engage their fans and you know, their fans are gonna rush to NAFTR to be the first one to have Model X, uh, their first NFT. These are gonna be extremely valuable content, you know, especially in, you look back five, 10 years from now, like okay, I've got uh, Whitney Wrights. I've got her first NFT. Nancy Ace, her first NFT. You know that's going to create a lot of buzz, and they have those fans that want that deeper connection and have a proven fan base that's willing to pay for that content. Versus, you know, it will advertise on Facebook, will advertise on on Pornhub, and that'll give us a lot of audience, uh, but it won't nearly do the numbers that engaging a lot of these top models will do so i think that's why you've probably seen us put a lot of emphasis on content creators and ambassadors and bringing them on because you know that's looking at some of these platforms that have you know million billion dollar companies that's how they've been successful right um, i'm jeff and i'm done speaking mm -hmm. i oh. have a question um or actually more of a suggestion Yes, let us right. know. So for uh, the Instagram and the uh, Twitter, I would suggest to add a link tree, uh, which would give access to the um, Twitter or to the Twitter account and to the, um, the Discord discussion. and the Telegram. Yeah, yeah. If that would yeah. be possible. We can, we, will, we can try, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we can do A-B testing. We can do... Yeah. Uh, when that we way launch the links would be all accessible. Yes. Or we can do a simple landing page. We can we can do one landing page within one day, no problem. And there it's like a landing page, nafty nafty landing page like link tricks. It's no problem. We have development teams to do it. It will take a few hours. All right. Thank you. No worries. Uh, I have a question. Um, are you guys gonna do something similar to the um the crypto punks? but something specific for Nafti Art? Uh, yes, we are looking at something, uh, crypt, not quite CryptoPunks, but uh, but something along that line where we're creating a, a big mass-produced NFT set with rarities in there. Uh, you collect certain ones and you will be gamified where you have certain prizes that you will win, tokens, access to different sites, events, something along those lines, yes. Cool. And we all, yeah, we're also talking potentially about doing something where we'll also try to push some of the nafty art in open C to kind of manipulate their traffic a little bit to give additional exposure to an audience that is, you know, highly engaged with NFTs and will become aware that the brand NFTs over there. Okay, cool. And, um, I saw recently that Lindsay Lohan made an NFT. Um, are you guys considering maybe offering her um, something to, to make an NFT with you guys? I haven't considered it until now. <laughs> but it's a great idea. And, uh, yeah. I, was, I actually, funny story, I actually did an offer to Lindsay Lohan uh, like five, six years ago. and. Then the same day I did the offer. So she actually received it and she was at this club in San Francisco. And my friends happened to bump into her in San Francisco and they were all 
kind of laughing about it. Uh, so I did some similar thing to that. She actually got the offer. Uh, so it was just a crazy coincidence that she happened to be in the same nightclub that my friends were in. They're like, hey, I know that guy that sent the porn offer to you. And they had a, sent me a picture with her in, in the nightclub. But uh, no, I appreciate that uh, insight. I think that's a great way to get PR traction. She probably won't accept, but uh, maybe she does. And She accepted an FT before, so. No. Yeah. We'll definitely uh, put that on the Great. radar to get, to get an offer out there. Thank you for the suggestion. Of course. Okay, guys, any more questions? Sure, sure. I have uh, another question. Um, can you make more admins in different language groups? Uh, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we're yeah, going very important for Indian groups or China groups, or I don't know. That's very, very important. Okay, so that's good. Nice. Tradition. Thanks. We're gonna very look much. at that, see how we can do it. Thank you very much. No worries. Hey, George. I missed the uh, first 10 minutes. You may, you may have covered this already, but there's been a few questions. I just wanted to hear it from you. Um, do you have a breakdown of like the new tokenomics or the reflections, like how, they're, they're how the burn? Same. They're the same as version 2. OK. We haven't changed Thank you. the tokenomics. They're absolutely the same. Uh, hey, George. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah, uh, George, a uh, small concern. Uh, there are any more, uh, like, a uh, new ambassador going to hop in? You said, like, there are some huge marketing ambassador going to hop in, right? Is it? Uh, you mean uh, oh, we're, that we're going to have soon very big ambassadors? Yes. I yeah, think yeah. You're... Yeah, yeah, soon we're going to announce uh, a big name. So stay tuned. So this is something in progress. And we'll be having more and more ambassadors joining in. Um, yeah. I, I can't, I can't announce Lex, Lexi Luna. So Lexi has signed on with us exclusively to launch her NFT. And we're working on doing a very cool side, double-sided playing card that will rotate and you'll see the front of her and as it rotates, you'll see the back side of her too. So that's pretty exciting. She's a, one of the top stars, great, great performer. I think one of the top MILFs out there. She gets a lot of MILF work, but she'll be in her top 10, top 20 porn star on Pornhub. So very excited to have her on the team and as one of our ambassadors. And I'm Jeff, I'm done speaking. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Yeah, hey, another question. Yep. But suggestion. Hey, everybody. George, hey. Jeff. Um, I just want to make a suggestion about the homepage. I recently took a look at it. Uh, which and homepage? Uh, because for, for Nafty Art? No, naftytoken.com. Oh, okay. the main page. Yeah, okay. And um, it's about the ambassadors section. Mm -hmm. And um, there are only, I don't think, I don't know, um, it's about eight or nine ambassadors. And I mean, we got a shitload of hot ambassadors now. And maybe we could improve that section, make it two or three rows just to represent more ambassadors because the naftytoken.com homepage is the main page. Guys are shilling on Twitter and whatever. And I think okay. it's more impressive the more ambassadors you see. I mean, okay. you guys are working hard on everything and I think everybody appreciates it, but that's just a small thing. So maybe at some point in time, 
somebody finds some time to fix that and improve that, that would be cool. And okay, that's a good suggestion. I wondered if you might uh, support us with some uh, shilling material. So the, uh, the the community is very supportive and creative. And I was thinking about uh, creating some some pics you can shill. Mm -hmm. So bots won't recognize it if you shill it in other telecom groups or maybe on Twitter too. Okay, for sure. That would be cool. We have so, so are, are you in the group. We have a, we have a. We have a shilling group. Are you in, in the group, or I can invite yeah, you? I'm I'm already there. Okay, so I will update today uh, the shilling group as well, and we are gonna make sure that. Actually, I'm going to put someone responsible, for, uh, more responsible for the shilling because I think we need to push it. We uh, we can do much yeah. better job in shilling. So I think um, definitely. Yeah, so I'm gonna have someone from the team work hard on this, and from next week you would you would see improvements in the shilling as well because i think if we use the community not use but if the community helps us better with mm -hmm. shilling with uh, and we uh, provide them the right materials then we can grow much much faster because we'll have a lot more people uh, as um, workforce i can say yeah yeah yeah, you know, I mean, I was thinking about some blank material, backgrounds and stuff like that. Maybe a background with nafty coins and and stuff, whatever. So the community uh, can add some texts and stuff like that. I, I tried to work on stuff, but I didn't find any material. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this, this is very good suggestions that you're giving me. And I will make sure that this will work because, yeah, this should be my responsibility as shilling is part of the marketing and i will i will make sure that you have all the materials that you need awesome check out the uh, check out the discord too there's a lot of stuff on there i did i did all right that's cool i i was just thinking about some some raw material you know what i mean yeah okay i can I, we can provide you cool thank you we, no worries. Just to um, to go off of that, yeah, maybe if we could just get like even um, even just off of the site like a media kit where we have like the high resolution logo and backgrounds and things like that that people could even use themselves because people get creative making memes and things like that. So just giving them that um, that area to be creative. Yeah. Agreed. And don't forget, we, we mentioned that we're going to start having Meme Monday. So we're going to encourage people to make and create their own nafty memes and uh, we'll post uh, post up the, your favorite nafty memes all on Mondays. And then we'll probably throw out some prizes and rewards for that, too. So maybe they can save their memes and harvest yeah. the memes and then post them out uh, when we're shilling yeah that, that's that an is, awesome idea yeah there is a uh, one uh, of riley reed uh, there's a particular video and the particular shot i've been seeing it for ages man and it's really hilarious and share that i love riley reed <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay, guys, any more feedback or questions? Okay, I guess not. So, thank you all for joining tonight. And 
we are not going to obviously stop working for the weekend so if you have any questions or suggestions we are here we'll be working for the launch we have a lot of things coming this week so we'll be available and let's go enough to the moon thank you all thank you very much thank you have a good night bye good night Thank you, everyone. Have a good week. Good night. Have a have a great weekend. Have a good night.